Today I'm going to show you how I make one of my kids absolute favorite um, meals which is we call it chickpea noodle soup um, and they just love it. It's super simple and I have developed it now so that I pull out every shortcut in the book. You can make it fancier if you want, but I'll show you my simplified version. And I do actually make this on the stove top. I use Instapot for almost everything, but for pasta, I do tend to use stove top just because I think the Instapot would uh, just dissolve the pasta basically. So we do cook it on stove top. So I'll show you what we need. So as a busy homeschooling mom of two who also works um, nearly full time, juggling a whole bunch of different part time jobs and um, also is we've been eating a whole food plant-based diet since 2009. So I have all the tricks in the book to save time and just streamline things and keep us um, fed. So for this recipe, we need just a big pot, two cans of chickpeas. I try to get salt free when I can, but um, often this is what's available. So we just do our best um, ground turmeric, thyme leaves, um, or some thyme, onion, garlic, a little bit of nutritional yeast. I tend to buy unfortified, whatever's cheapest on Amazon. And you can use fresh celery and fresh carrots and fresh onion and fresh garlic, whatever you want. But um, I tend to just go at this point with dried carrots and dried celery um, that I just always keep in the cupboard. And then we are gluten-free in this house because I have celiac disease. So this is our absolute favorite brown rice pasta. I've even fed this to super picky kids who are used to like, you know, mac and cheese. Um, and um, they did not even know that it wasn't white pasta. It actually really tastes like white pasta, but it's completely whole grain brown rice pasta. And it does not get mushy like a lot of other brands. We get this at Walmart. Most of the shapes um, or the shapes they have there tend to be under $4 a bag. So it's a pretty good price for a pound of gluten-free pasta. So let's get started. Right, so for the most part, I'm a dump it, don't measure it kind of person. Um, so that's what I'll do now. I You can rinse your chickpeas. It's better to. I'm just being honest here. This is what I do. I dump because this is faster and my family cannot tell the difference. I've done it both ways. I used to do more the time consuming version of this and no one had any idea when I started being lazy with it. So I'm just going to opt for the lazy route. I toss in about that much for grated carrots. Um, these are just like dried carrots. Um, I'm going to put the dried celery in a second, but you're actually resting on the dried celery container. So I'm not going to yet. And then some dried onion. Good amount. Adds a lot of flavor. Oops. I think I forgot. Yeah, I'll take out parsley and black pepper yet. Sorry, I forgot that. Some dried garlic. And then the only thing I do actually measure, a couple things for this recipe, because it does make the taste what it is. So I, we do one teaspoon of turmeric. And then um, one teaspoon of dried thyme. And I absolutely love this thing. It's like a tall... So it, like it reaches into these very big containers. If you use a lot of herbs and spices as we do, because we mostly cook without salt. So this is like, we get lots of flavor from herbs and spices. I love this. It has a tablespoon on one side. Um, it's all stainless steel and the teaspoon on this side and it's tall and it just, I love it. I use it all the time. So this is just unfortified nutritional yeast and we need three tablespoons of that. So again, I measure this because it does impact the taste of the recipe. And then um, I'm actually also going to add just a little bit of dried parsley. Again, if you have this stuff handy, fresh, um, do it. I mean, I even have carrots and celery right now in the fridge. And I'm just being too lazy to chop it up because um, this works equally well. So actually, my kids also really like how small these vegetable pieces are. And a little bit of black pepper. This is pretty potent, so I don't use too much the Costco brand, Kirkland brand. All right. So I'm going to go add, I find now I add about 10 cups of water. I've experimented a little bit, but 10 cups is about what it takes. Um, so I've put every ingredient in here, except I'm going to add the dried celery in a second, um, except the pasta, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so I've added everything. That's the celery floating on the top that I added, 10 cups of water. You could experiment with how runny you like it, but that's about what we like, um, especially because it sits in the fridge. Um, for a while. So what I do now is I put it on high, bring it to a boil. 
and then I reduce it to medium and I cook this now for 20 minutes uh, once it comes to a boil sorry with the lid on I let it simmer around medium heat um, for 20 minutes and that softens everything up the flavors really really merge and meld then I throw the pasta in there for its cooking time which um, in the case of these elbows is I believe 15 minutes yep 15 minutes for these elbows I'll throw the whole bag in there um, and cook that. I'll show you when it's time to do oh, that. I just came racing downstairs, and what did you ask me? Is that chickpea noodle soup? <laughs> that you smell? <laughs> yes. You were in your room and you smelled it, right? No. Would I, that... I was upstairs. Oh, upstairs. Okay. Would that be terrible? I know it's your least favorite dish ever. What a lie. <laughs> do you love it? Yes. Yes. Should we show how it's cooking up? Careful, though, right? Because steaming. Yeah. But it gets this very beautiful color. It's busy boiling away. It has about another five minutes. And then, we'll scrape all this off. We're going to throw our pasta in and let that finish cooking. Are you excited? Yes, Do very. Do you think you would maybe like some tonight? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll give you a taste test when it's all done and cooled, okay? <laughs> Well, it had better be cold, otherwise you won't yeah. be getting a taste test. <laughs> That's true, because it's going to burn your mouth, okay. right? So I think we're ready to add the pasta. So like I said, it's been boiling for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to just throw the pasta in the whole, this is, um, yep, one pound of pasta, 16 ounces. Give it a stir, and it will basically absorb almost all this water. And so it gets just a really nice consistency. You can add more or less water. I do leave it covered um, and I turn it down once it, once it gets boiling again, I turn it down to like somewhere between low and medium on my stove. I have an old electric stove, so do that. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, I should turn on my timer for 15 minutes and we'll take a look when now it's all. I will note, if you've been watching some of the videos on my channel, you'll notice I use the Instapot almost exclusively. I'm, um, and microwave. I'm, I'm super simple. Um, we all like simple food and I just am always trying to save time because it takes a lot of time, even as is just to keep our family fed. We all eat a lot, I guess. Um, I don't know. We're just active and we eat a lot of food, it seems. Um, so this is one of my complicated recipes. And I say that because I recognize to most people, this is like toss it in a pot and like how much easier could it get but I've had to wait for it to come to a boil turn it down to medium set the timer for 20 minutes to let it boil then throw the pasta in now I have to make sure I take it off right in 15 minutes or the pasta will be all mushy that is the part that the instapot is amazing for once you set it in the pot you do not need to touch it again until you're ready to eat it you can even leave it sitting for the most part does nothing bad happens if you leave it sitting after it's already cooked for like two hours. Sometimes I forget about the rice or where we just are busy and it gets a little stickier, but it's totally fine. So that is the part as a homeschooling mom that's busy that just absolutely saves me with the Instapot. I also love that you can set it when you have time, set the whole meal up, and then you just delay start so that it starts when you're ready so that you have hot food when, whenever you want it throughout your day. So Instapot is just absolutely amazing for just convenience factor, uh, the convenience factor. This pasta stuff um, for me is, I'm, I'm more hesitant to do dishes like this simply because I have to babysit it. So if you're trying to make like a healthy whole foods type lifestyle work for you, um, I encourage you to try out the Instapot because for me that's been life changing in terms of how many minutes and hours I save myself in the course of a week. So, okay. So this is basically done. You see there's a little bit of liquid left, really nicely cooked. Turns this really beautiful color. And there, it's full of chickpeas, whole grain brown rice, a little bit of vegetables and just lots of yummy spices. So I'll just scoop out a little bit. I always use these Pyrex containers because I can, once they cool, we just store them in the fridge and then um, they're really easy for all of us to grab and just reheat as needed. As I've mentioned before, we just kind of eat whenever we're hungry throughout the day. Our schedules are a little bit weird because 
we homeschool and I work mainly in the evenings. So it just usually works best for, I cook all the time and we just, um, all of us just grab food whenever we're hungry. Our fridge is always full of stuff, different stuff, lots of starch staples, but this usually fills out about six of these containers. So it's actually makes a good size batch because I use a full um, pound of pasta. So I'll continue to scoop these. Um, and when it cools, we'll get a taste test. You'll see this is one of my kids' absolute favorite dishes. They just Okay, like so I think it's cool-ish. I would still be careful. Yes, okay? I think it is. Yes, so take a little taste. And then you can tell us how terrible it is. What do you think? Very good. <laughs> yeah? You cannot tell a lie. You love noodles, don't you? Yes. We hope everyone found this video helpful and that your kids like it as much as my kids do. If you did, please like and subscribe and consider commenting below, sharing some of the things your plant-based kids love to eat.